Hey everyone and welcome to today's video and what we're basically going to be looking at is a few months back I actually posted a video with regards to Netflix and it was with regards to this particular movie so it was the Replicas movie and I remember I watched it, um, big fan of Keanu Reeves as an actor um, and basically the only reason I watched this was because he was in it so uh, we watched it um, at night one day and I remember thinking how bad the actual quality was of, of the picture. So back then, obviously, we were, well, technically, we're, we're still partially in lockdown. But because of the, the directive that was put out by pretty much all of the ISPs and also the service providers with regards to all streaming services here in UK, as well as some parts of Europe, we were basically downgraded. So all of your... HDR streams were downgraded to just 4K, all your 4K ones, well a lot of them were downgraded to 1080p, Dolby Atmos was completely disabled and a lot of other things but one of the things that I did notice when I watched this particular movie was the fact that the, the HD picture was really really bad, I mean it was one of the worst that I'd ever seen and I can't remember exactly which scene it was, I think it was somewhere around here that I actually stand, so if I just pause it here, so in this particular scene now um, in all of these kind of shadowy uh, background bokeh blurred uh, parts of the image it looks pretty pretty well it's not brilliant um, face details in, in terms of the main character is still pretty soft um, that may just be where I'm actually pausing it when you're actually watching it back it's not too bad um, but obviously all of these kind of areas um, and I can't remember exactly what uh, what minute it was on when I had the issue but if I just try and skip forward, say, and I remember it, it was possibly something like this. Yeah, this would have been one of them. And I remember seeing this particular background and how blocky and pixelated this, this whole section was. And even though it's not perfect now, and it still looks really, really fake because of the fact that um, your main kind of subject is really sharp, really detailed. And then you've got this pixelated background, which um, from a kind of bokeh perspective, I suppose that's probably what they're going at. Blur the background out and then obviously you get your nice focused um, subject. But in this instance, because of it being CGI, it just doesn't seem to work very well. So if I just bring it forward a little more, um, I'm trying to not get a content or copyright strike. So just in this section here on this particular scene, we do have a little bit of horrible kind of um, pixelation, banding, whatever you want to call it. But that is a moving image. Uh, just skip forward a touch more, possibly this one. See, I remember it being the, the yellow background um, on, on the part where I paused it and I remember seeing it being really bad. Now even this, from, from what I'm seeing, it does seem to, to appear a lot sharper. So even all your main details, even all of these, your main focused character, um, even that. So even though this is HD, actually yeah, this would have been one of them. So I remember this particular scene where all of this background was really, really blocky. It was really pixelated. It was just a really bad image. And considering how simple this kind of um, shot is, so obviously you've got your fake kind of CGI, but your background essentially would have just been a plain kind of background. So in terms of compression, there's there's not much that it needs to do here because literally there is, apart from a little bit of gradient, there's not a lot going on there. So it doesn't really use a lot of bandwidth. I mean, even when I'm exporting these videos, what tends to happen is any areas of the screen, so for example, all of these, the background, anywhere that stays the same between frames is generally quite easy for it to render out because it, it doesn't need to change anything. So that was the surprising thing back then, the fact that it was so bad, even on um, background images where there was no movement, there was no, no changes going on. So just here, just around here, I'm not sure how noticeable it's gonna be on camera, but to the eye, just in these little bit of details there, it's not great. And also just down here, but that's being really nitpicky, whereas previously it was so bad that it stood out and it was really obvious. This another shot, so all of this kind of, um, you've got a little bit of um, cross banding going on there, which isn't perfect, but it's still a lot better than what it would have been. Let me see if I can 
that one on the actual still it doesn't look great so yeah so just in this this shot here so you you've got a few lines of pixels going across there which is not great um, all of this kind of vertical stuff i think that is more intentional because of what's probably in the background but it, yeah just there so in the face there's a lot more detail now um, previously when we did watch it even though it is HD um, people seem to think because it's HD it, it doesn't need to be clear or doesn't need to have any details I mean HD not so long ago was still really really sharp and if you get a good HD stream now it should still be very sharp and I could probably film this video in 4k uh, in 1080p sorry and it'll probably look really good and a lot of people out there if it, depending on the, the size of the device you're watching on probably won't be able to tell the difference the fact that i record everything in 4k just comes down to my personal preference and future proofing but um it, it f from this picture here um even though it's a still image of a moving image um so basically it's not not a photo I've, I've paused the actual picture and generally you're getting a little bit of blur between the actual frames of the video but this it looks a lot more sharper you do have a little bit of noise and um, artifacting in the background but that that's a lot better than what it was and i remember one of the scenes in particular that I, I paused on last time it was something like this and it was this this kind of bit on the left hand side here and i remember just thinking like it there's no reason for it to be that bad because there's virtually nothing going on here apart from it being a sort of glass window um, semi-transparent glass window where it looks like you have a light source right in the middle this one here so all of this I remember last time was really really bad so I mean so far so good in terms of it does look like everything is getting back to normal so for anybody out there that was obviously watch my last video and maybe they didn't have the same kind of um, experience um, does look like it was something due to lockdown which for me looking back now I still say that it was a strange decision for them to have done it um, to have reduced the all of the bandwidth from all the, all the major providers because the areas where they reduced it the UK is not bad for internet so there, there isn't a case of we were really going to struggle I mean my provider Virgin Media um, they also do it I'm, I'm personally on a 380 meg uh, connection they also do like a half half gig connection um, BT and all the ADSL providers still top out around 80 or 90 something like that but even that is still more than enough to be able to stream something like this so the fact that they reduced it so much and pretty much a lot of and it comes down to that thing where there was a lot of movies that came out a lot of um, Netflix productions a lot of um, prime kind of uh, series that came out and everybody would have watched them for the first time either with this kind of well not this this horrible but obviously back then what what was the horrible picture and they would have watched the tv series maybe without atmos and the whole experience was would have been different i mean i personally since having got this tv and the soundbar have watched back movies and tv shows just to re-experience what what i missed out on the first time so obviously this is showing us 5.1 now i do remember the audio was actually very good um when we did actually watch it so there was quite a bit of um um rear rear uh, surround but that's something that i've mentioned in the past with netflix where um it almost feels as though they crank uh, the gain up so high that it almost leads to that that particular effect but yeah the the first experience that people would have had of a lot of the stuff that came out during those three or four months of lockdown would have kind of ruined the experience for what the the content probably would have been um like had it been experienced at its best so with dolby vision in 4k with dolby atmos all of these kind of things obviously make a big difference and from personal experience i can say yeah there are there is stuff out there that i've watched back um simply because it was available in dolby atmos or because it was available in dolby vision so that that was pretty much it for this video it does look like um the issues with netflix in particular because it, none of the other providers I, i'd never actually noticed this with any of the other ones and the thing about netflix was at the time they were actually still having some uh content stream in both 4k as well as um dolby vision and dolby atmos but it's very very limited and not a lot of the new stuff was actually f basically full fat 
and even then the the bit rate no doubt would have been lower so you you weren't actually getting the the, the best product but thankfully even their hd stuff as you can see from this now does look like it's improved quite a bit 